Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about Lyra Glutide under the brand names Victoza or Sazenda. This belongs to the class of medications known as anti diabetic agent, a glucagon like peptide 1 receptor agonist. Useful in treating type 2 diabetes mellitus, obesity, and overweight. Form. This medication will appear in form of solution pen injector that could be given subcutaneously. No intravenous route, no intramuscular route. Sazenda could be in 80 mg per 3 ml. Victoza could come as 80 mg per 3 ml or as 6 mg per ml. Administration. There are good type, either Victoza or Zazenda, could only be given subcutaneously. You can use the upper arm. You may use some other parts of the body, depending on the type of patient you are dealing with. In the course of this presentation, we will get there. Okay? No intravenous route, no IM, and you may give it without regard to meal or time of the day. Please, new needle and the Medication must be clear and colorless, without which you may not give place. Don't change pen or share pen with anyone. Let me explain. Please, don't be too nice to give your pen or not in any way to another person. One patient, one pen. And you can be changing the needle. Still on administration. We cannot mix any of these medication with any other medications, nowhere. We should give insulin in a separate arm if we are going to give Victoza about the same time. In pediatrics, you can use upper arm, thigh or abdomen. Means doses should not lead to increased dose, please. Remember, this is going to work on the glucose level very well. Uh, the people administering this medication must wear gloves while handling it with or without protective gown. Adverse reaction. There may be increased heart rate and of course glucose level will drop. There may be constipation nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. At the ingestion site, there might be pruritus, rashes, or erythema. And later on, the individual could develop headache, abdominal distension with pain. And of course, it could affect the gallbladder, giving us cholelithiasis. There might be flat lens or eructation. Gasosophageal reflux disease is possible or exacerbation of the same. Urinary tract infection, dizziness, and there may be heart block in some cases. And of course, to individuals that is already predisposed, there may be benign colorectal carcinoma. And also, if anyone is on this medication for a long period of time, it is possible that it, the individual could come down with breast, colon, Rectum papillary thyroid carcinoma. Still on adverse reactions, there is that likelihood of increased suicidal ideation, upper respiratory tract infection, hyperbilirubinemia, nasopharyngitis, medullary thyroid carcinoma, anaphylaxis, acute interstitial nephritis. Contraindications. If there is hypersensitivity to liraglutide, don't give Victoza, don't give Sazenda. If there is positive family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma, take liraglutide off the table. In individuals with multiple endocrine neoplasia 2, we will not give Victoza or Sazenda. If there is pregnancy, no Sazenda, no Victoza. And anyone on this medication 
should have you know, a way of preventing pregnancy in place because it is contraindicated in pregnancy. The same in breastfeeding mothers. Warning. If anyone is on Victoza or Sasenda, we have to watch them very closely. And what are we looking for? There might be increased liraglutide antibodies. When you do vaccines, the resting heart rate might be very high. If that is the case, please stop that medication and address that. The gallbladder and bile duct might become diseased. And that is why I mentioned earlier that we might find anyone on this medication coming down with gallstone, that is cholelithiasis, or cholecystitis, or both. Increased dose related gastrointestinal symptoms have been found in many people on this medication, like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and sometimes constipation. There may be increased hypersensitivity, anaphylaxis, angioedema, or pancreatitis. Still on warning, there is that likelihood of increased exacerbation of acute renal failure or chronic renal failure. Thyroid carcinoma can be on the increase, particularly medullary thyroid carcinoma, multiple endocrine neoplasia too, should be a warning sign that this person should not take this medication. When we check for the neck rejoin, I mean trying to run away from thyroid carcinoma, rule out neck swelling, dysphagia, dyspnea, and hoarseness of voice. And in anyone with bariatric surgery, be careful, particularly with Sazenda. Be cautious in hepatic impairment, just as you will be in renal impairment. Still on warning, adjust dose in hemodialysis because this medication is not dialyzable. No dosage adjustment in peritoneal dialysis. Anyone on peritoneal dialysis can use a low dosage between 0.6 mg to 0.9 mg once daily. There might be likelihood of increased suicidal ideation. And let me explain why. The reason is that anyone on this medication that is now having suicidal ideation, there is a tendency for misdiagnosis because you think this is obesity, this is overweight, this is type 2 diabetes, this is a psychiatric disease. No. Now the medication is tilting this person to that end. Drug drug interactions. Please, the list will be pretty long, so I'll not be able to go through. You can contact your pharmacist, your clinical pharmacologist, and better still, endocrinologist. Note this. Sazenda is not for type 2 diabetes mellitus. So if this is type 2 diabetes mellitus, go for Victoza. Also note, Victoza is not for type 1 diabetes mellitus, and it is not for diabetic ketoacidosis. Monitoring. We have to monitor the glucose level. Random blood sugar or fasting blood sugar. Hemoglobin A1C should be taken every three months, but you can decide to take it every six months if it is well controlled. Watch very closely for suicidal ideation. Do a renal function test because of the probability of acute or chronic renal failure. And of course, have liver function tests done. Let us have lipid profile, particularly if you are dealing with obesity or overweight, right? And of course, 
we have to monitor the body weight changes. And we must place close attention to signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. In case of hypoglycemia, the level one uh, type of hypoglycemia is when the glucose level is between 54 and 70 mg per DL. Level two is when it is less than 54 mg per DL. And level three is when it has affected the central nervous system. Of course, we have adenergic symptoms and we have neuroglycopenic symptoms. You can check my channel here for full lecture on hypoglycemia, causes, presentations, and how to handle it. It's all here. Magnesium of action. I'll take time here so that we'll be able to appreciate liraglutide, either as a sender or victosa. Liraglutide is an analog of glucagon like peptide 1. The glucagon like peptide 1 is an incretin. Now, what is incretin all about? Incretin is one of the hormones, right? And what will it do? Why is it that is useful in type 2 diabetes and obesity. Okay, it is going to increase glucose dependent insulin secretion. Let me explain. Incretin will help in insulin secretion, but that will be done. I mean, the amount of insulin that will be secreted will be dependent on the value of glucose in the system. So when the glucose level is very low, insulin secretion will also be low. When the value of glucose is very high, insulin secretion will be very high. Isn't that great? That is what Victoria will do in the system. It will also decrease inappropriate glucagon secretion. Glucagon is meant to raise the glucose level, right? Now, if the glucagon is inappropriately being secreted, meaning the level of glucose will be rising, that will not have a place when liraglutide is in the system. It would decrease inappropriate secretion of glucagon, meaning glucose level will be suppressed. So in these two cases, no hyperglycemia. We might have euglycemia or hypoglycemia. That is not the end of the journey yet for glucose control. It will also work on the beta cells. The beta cells are found in assets of Langerhans. And what will happen there? It will increase the growth of beta cells and replication. And what is the outcome? More insulin to handle glucose. Now, to those who are obese and they are taking Sazenda, it's going to slow gastric empty. So, there will be early fullness. They will eat a little and feel full, so they will eat less. With that, it will also decrease food intake. Examples of situations when liraglutide will be very helpful are the following. In diabetes mellitus type 2 with atherosclerosis, we can use Victoza. Also, when hemoglobin A1C is very high, we can use Victoza. We can use Victoza and we'll start with subcutaneous Victoza, 0.6 mg once daily for one week. Then, of course, we, are, we will assess our failure or success. We can then increase to 1.2 mg, that is double the dose once daily for the next one week. Later, when we have assessed after the second week, if we are not winning, we can increase to 1.8 mg once daily by the third week. If we haven't achieved the desired glycemic control after 1.2 mg once daily, we can go to 1.8 mg once daily. Another example of the situation where we can use Victoza is when there is type 2 diabetes mellitus and the patient is obese or overweight 
and there is atherosclerosis, then Victoza will be a very good agent here. We can grab that and give 0.6 mg of cutaneously once daily. Remember, no intravenous and no intramuscular role. Okay? Once daily for one week. We can increase that dose by 0.6 mg once daily every week until we reach the maximum dose of 3 mg once daily. Once we have reached that, within five weeks, we've reached the peak. The rate at which we increase the dose or whether we continue to increase the dose is dependent upon the ability of the patient to tolerate this medication. If the patient can't tolerate it, if the side effects are becoming more troublesome, then we'll take it off. And we must be checking the weight after 12 weeks or after 16 weeks. When are we going to discontinue? Because the, med the medication is not for life, right? We are, we are going to discontinue once 4% of the weight has been lost. And with that, we've come to the end of this very presentation as per Lira Gluta, Victoza, or Zazenda. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this very presentation. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my presentations immediately they are published. I appreciate it.